Hello and welcome back to Football Tactics and Glory and Manchester's Journey to the Premier League. My name is Rio, and in the last episode, we came away with one goal victories over San Jose and Madison. Although, I think we were definitely in control of both of those matchups the entire way. Now, we have a three game episode today with Hartford, Concord, and Honolulu. And this is the time where I really think we're going to go up into promotion position and hold on to it hopefully till the end of the season. This is our biggest opportunity and we really cannot waste it. So, Manchester versus Hartford. Let's get our defense ready to start this off. Shockley with the ball. Shockley is able to get it to Gunn. Now, they, if Gunn keeps it from Thornton, which he didn't, but if he does, they do have a decent chance of getting a goal based on arms being there. But thankfully, that didn't happen. And we'll try and make sure it continues to not happen. So Aragon with the ball, and it's got to be Knox coming down. I forgot, forgot he had level 2 slide tackle, and he's able to take it. Now the other side, it's going to be a bit of an issue. Novak can't take it. Uh, we're going to adjust the formation again. Knox has the ball and is just going to move out to the corner here. And this is going to be up to Childress. To take... Oh, I did not mean to do slide tackle. I meant to do a regular tackle. And that's not good. And Novak fouls him. And Novak's suspended? I swear, the game does not give us the same leeway that it gives everyone else in, the, in there. McCready's going to be coming in for Greer. And we are down to 10 versus 11 here. McCready's going to be in the way. We're going to move Childress down, Thornton there, Hatfield in the wall as well. Ames is the one with the ball. He could go for the shot here, and he does, and it knocks off of the wall way out. And Gunn takes it. So we are in a poor position now. But hopefully we can find a way to win anyways, and that's not a good start. Haynes. Gunn has the ball. Gunn dribbles by McCready, and it's not one there, but the... Ooh, that's a nerve-wracking possession for us there. Aragon does get it down. Could try and loft it. He's gonna loft it, and he gets it to Hemphill in the box. And the power shot is successful. Hemphill gives us a 1-0 lead. We are still undermanned, but hopefully we've done enough here to give us a better chance. And Thornton moves... No, Gunn moves out to the corner and is going to do the break-in. I forgot about that part of this. I guess... Huggins is going to come in for Thacker to prevent this again. That was just not a smart move on my part. But Hinojosa thankfully saves it from Gunn. Haynes has the ball. Haynes is going to go to Peterson here. And Peterson is going to get Aragon out towards the edge. And they don't have... Uh, what's his name? Knox, who's out for nearly five months. Oh, that's a huge loss for them. That is 
huge. And down comes main, and down comes Hephel. Let's get us a two-goal lead. This is why Hemphill leads the league in goals. And we managed to get the setup and intercepted by Peterson. That's a good start. Hammonds gets the press off to give Hitchcock the ball. But they still have to get it get it back. <laughs> So Hatfield has it. Hatfield is going to try and get it to Hemphill. That didn't work out. So Hemphill goes for the tackle. And we'll see what they do. Lacey has slide tackle. He could try and take it. And that's indeed what they does. The game, it was a little nerve-wracking, I gotta admit. Ames coming back. He's going to be able to get off a shot here. And gets by one, saved by Hinojosa. He's having a busier game than I would like, but he's stepped up so far. Two shots on goal, both saved. So Thornton's going to help out in the back. We're going to have Haynes in front and McCready also helping out in the back. So it's up to Haynes. It's up to Haynes to intercept this now. Because they kept positions, and that is a good pass. Hammonds on goal. And this time, Hinojosa is not able to save it. Hartford cuts the lead in half, going into the half. So, 1-2. We've made the most of our chances. They have not. And that's been the difference so far. But we are still undermanned. It's going to be up to Aragon to give us the chances here. And it is saved by Bryson. Ames moving in. He gets it to Hitchcock. Hitchcock tries to get it to Ames and that doesn't work out. It's going to be up to, well, up to Haynes now to take this, which he does. We don't really have a great option for other passes, so it's going to be Haynes keeping it, and Haynes loses it to Ames. That is an unexpected development. Ames moves off to the side, goes for the shot, kicked away by Childress, and Ames is motivated now. But thankfully, Haynes is there to give us a chance. Peterson with the ball. He's going to try and get it to Aragon. That worked out. It's Pearson coming over. Pearson does take it. Is he going to try and kick it over to Hammonds or something? No. He keeps it right in the corner. And Aragon was not able to take it. So now it's going to be Hemphill, and Hemphill is able to, but Pearson's motivated, so he's probably not keeping this. But we're back in position. If they go for anything, they don't. And it's Wall going out. Now this should be an easy takeaway for Hatfield. And he does not have the defense to take it back. So they're bringing Maine all the way up. And Maine takes it, but he's once again in position for Hatfield to take this back. Pass goes to Hemphill. Lacey's not going to intercept. We have a shot on goal and a corner off of that. Peterson's going to be taking this. Aragon in back. Hemphill in front. Come on, get Maine out of there. Yes, they got Maine out. 
don't want to challenge a a motivated player. And Hemphill secures this. I think that's that's the dagger. Hat trick for him and potentially another victory. And Ames, Ames is doing really well on defense today. Offense, not so much, but you gotta, gotta be impressed with the work he's done so far. Peterson gets the ball, and we're just laying off to Aragon in the corner. Hemphill is very tired. We'll have to see if there's another player that will be better suited to play for the following game against Concord, I believe. And Main moves down, Hemphill's down there. Thankfully, this doesn't require energy. 4-1 Manchester lead. And that is full time and another solid win, our third in a row. A lot of tackles and we lost Novak. And that's a big loss for us. But thankfully, defense is one of our deeper areas in the game. So I think we've got a decent chance. As for the other games, Memphis lost to Jacksonville, Albuquerque beat Tampa, Sacramento beat Bismarck, Oklahoma City beat Concord, Madison and Honolulu tied, and San Jose beat Newark. We are still fourth, but now we're also two points behind Memphis. And this. Thacker didn't add any assists. Hatfield had a lot of tackles in that game. So our next game is going to be against Concord. And we have thrived off of... Off of Hemphill in the past. And I think he's still going to start. But we might have to figure out other approaches. Depending on the situation. Anyways. Manchester versus Concord... We're hoping to continue winning, and at some point, Oklahoma City and Memphis are going to slip up. And maybe Sacramento as well. So Thacker is down with it. Let's get on the board early. Nicely done, Hemphill. 1-0, Manchester lead. Tubbs gets it into Telez. Telez moves down and loses it to Thornton. Thornton's pass to Peterson doesn't quite get there. And we're going to pass Thacker out to the edge because Kuhn is not going to be able to take this. They're probably going to bring over Bassett. That's indeed what they're doing. And he is able to get it. Is he going to pass to Kuhn, though, or that's what he does? Kuhn with the ball. And it's going to be up to Hatfield to take this, which he does. Gets the press off, and it's going to be Bassett coming all the way up. And this is still no guarantee for them to take it, and that's a foul! Hatfield... Kept the ball. Yeah. It's gonna be Peterson with the ball. I want to set up Hemphill there. And Thacker will be here just so we can... Ah, see, that's, that's the smart thing. They did the smart thing, and I did not catch it there. <laughs> And that's knocked right to Hemphill. Now, he's probably not keeping this. He's still probably not keeping this. But, it prevents them from doing much of a counterattack here. And Tubbs has the ball. Hatfield has it now. And does get it to Thacker! Oh, man, I did not expect him to get it there. And Bassett's coming over. 
He gets it, but he's right in position for Thacker to take this back. I love the slide tackle. I love it. And saved out by Villarreal, but we still have two actions left, so Hemphill can come back for it and just go for the shot, and Hemphill puts it away. 2 nothing lead. In fact, I did not realize that his defense is actually one of his biggest weaknesses as a goalkeeper. Thornton, it's not going to be easy for them to get by Thornton on the edge. He's doing a good job there. Peterson has the ball. And Thacker has it now. We go for the cross and missed by everyone. Cohen down with it. Can't get it to Tubbs, and Tubbs moves back. So, it's going to be Hatfield coming all the way up to take this and make it very difficult for Concord to do anything to start to end the half here. Strong is coming up. He's got it. He could do long pass, but... I'm just not sure if there's an angle where he can get an action out of it. And yeah, that's it. 2 nothing Manchester lead at halftime. Um, no substitutions necessary for this. We're just going to keep it going. Concord starts with the ball this time. And can't even get it to Telez. He has the ball. Goes for the shot. Intercepted by Haynes. And there is a press. Peterson's got it. And can't get it to Thacker. I assume Kuhn will be coming back for it and doing some fancy dribbling, trying to get them up. Never mind, he didn't do much with that. And Thacker's attempt at the slide tackle did not work. But he's got another chance and does get it this time. Moving out to the edge. Once again, it's Bassett coming up. He's got an easy tackle here. And if I'm them, I want to just kick that away, but no. He does, decides not to kick it away and gives Thacker another chance, although it did not work. We're going to move Peterson slightly in the way so he gets the automatic press off. Intercepted. Bassett can't do anything now. And they are bringing over Tubbs, who's not exactly the best defensive player, but he is able to take it. And Hatfield couldn't take it there. And this time we're going to do the smart thing and get off the press with Peterson first. And then take it. And we'll just pass it to Jin. He's probably not going to keep this, but... Get some specialization points. Strong with the ball. Passes to Starnes. And Starnes dribbles slightly up. And we're moving Hatfield all the way over. What's their plan here? He moves down and keeps it from Thornton. Didn't expect that. Rainbow Faint gets by Thornton. Starnes could go all the way here. And he gets by Childress as well. Starnes on goal. 
And it's saved out of bounds. I'm surprised he didn't do another rainbow faint there. That's a strange choice, if you ask me. Now we have... I think everyone in, in good enough position. And Haynes just barely takes position from him. Uh, Telez did keep position. But Haynes intercepts. Pass over to Peterson. Peterson is going to get Thacker the ball in position to add a third goal. No, Hemphill just missed that. So I think that's it. Manchester is looking in on their fourth consecutive victory. And I'm going to give Peterson the chance to come over. I don't want to tire Hatfield out too much. So, Peterson takes the ball from Starnes to end the game. 2-0 Manchester victory. 50-50 possession. I did not expect that. And Jin is so close to leveling up. Thornton is leveling up. And I feel like Thornton was a bit cheated out of one of the men of the match ones. I know did a lot of stuff during the game, but well, enough reaction. That's for the rainbow faint. I think we'll just go with experience and continue the dedication tree. We're not really relying on Hatfield for his talent. Oklahoma City beat Sacramento. That's a big upset. Bismarck beat Albuquerque. Tampa beat Memphis. Jacksonville and San Jose are tied. Madison beat Newark and Honolulu beat Hartford. We are in promotion position a single point behind Oklahoma City and Sacramento. And remember, one of our big goals for this season was, was winning the, the league entirely. But it's going to be dependent on our heading attack. This time we're going to lead with Jin, and if necessary, we'll move Hemphill over to take the ball. But it's going to be Jin to start, going up against Swan here. And Jin lost the aerial battle to Mansfield, but we do have a corner off of it. Peterson is there, Jin in back, Hemphill in front. Let's get an early lead. We're still waiting for Oklahoma City to slip up, and I, I assume at some point they will, but... It's not working out that way, and unfortunately, Peterson's pass did not work out. McGuire is in position then to take this, and she does. And what's he going to do with it? He gets it to Crockett. And Crockett moves over. So this is going to be up to Hatfield to stop the potential attack. And that did not work. Not a good start. I'm going to move McCready down. I really don't want them to be able to get off an easy header here. Crockett with the ball. And it's kicked away. Compton is coming over for it. Masterson has slide tackle, so if this doesn't work, and it didn't, or even if it did work, we'd be in trouble. Masterson's in position. Compton has good passing. And it's a goal for Honolulu. We're, we're already adjusting back. We cannot let them... We can't let them win this game. <laughs> and we need to challenge that with our best offensive weapon, which is always Hemphill and his beautiful headers. And once again, Mansfield... Outduels Hemphill as well. 
out dueling out dueling Jin was to be expected, but doing it against Hemp Hill is a much harder battle. And they're keeping Mansfield down to challenge against him. Jin in the middle. And this time, Hemp Hill is able to get by Mansfield to tie the game. We're really feeling the loss of... We're, f we're feeling the loss of Novak here. And Compton got it! We're putting Haynes down there. Honolulu is showing some offensive prowess that I was not expecting. Now, granted, some of that is just bad defense that we've had. But it's still concerning as we tie the game with Hemp Hill here. Neely gets it to Browning. Browning moving down, so it's going to be Compton potentially going for it, but it's a poor attempt. And they're not able to take it. Thacker moving off to the edge. Who are they going to bring over? It is Mansfield. That's good. Mansfield has it. And he's going to probably get this off to Crockett. That's exactly what he does. In goes Jin, in goes Hemp Hill. So that's going to be up to Thacker to take this. I didn't realize he was going to be that low a chance. Ah, he's already... Thacker is already tired. But it's going to be Hemphill going for the shot, and he just needs to get it by Dalton, and it's kicked away. But with Thacker that tired, I think we're going to have to bring in Aragon for him as we continue trying to get a lead. Dalton moving off to the side. Is, are we the home team? We are the home team. So they're going to start with the ball in the second half. I guess Peterson's going to come down and try and take this. It's very unlikely. But he had a chance at least. And that is going to be it for the first half. Manchester and Honolulu tied at two. And Honolulu's really controlled possession, and we've really felt the loss of our, our big man. Sisk is going to be coming in. He's going to be coming in in case we think that's a better approach than what we've had so far. Browning with the ball. And this really worked for them last time, but... Or at least, no, it didn't. It didn't work for them last time. He's, he's struggling with those kicks. It's going to be Peterson with the ball. Passing over to Aragon. Mansfield has it. Or Mansfield was on it and able to take it. And moves up. Hemphill moves to the middle. So this is going to be Aragon just trying to take it, which he is able to do. Is Mansfield going to intercept? Yes, he would intercept in either of those places. So the attempted pass to Dalton doesn't work. Not to Dalton, to Hemphill. <laughs> And back comes Dalton, and over comes Dalton. It's going to be Hemp Hill coming over. I'm worried about the amount of time it's going to take up doing all of the actions that we've done. McGuire takes it. McGuire passing to Upton, and Upton 
is going to move to the middle here. So this is now going to be Aragon coming over. Aragon takes it. And Aragon's going to... It's not going to work, but... It's knocked right back to him. We just... We need the counterattack here, and we are in very bad position to do it. Hatfield coming over, has the ball, and we need to control possession here. Browning, we get it to Sisk. Now Sisk is almost certainly going to lose this to McGuire immediately. And what's he going to do with it? He moves up. Which is kind of what I was hoping for, because Hatfield, with the ball... Gets it to Hemphill, and we are still really struggling to keep the ball, and Hemphill gets fouled! And that's an injury one day. It's going to be Greer coming in for him. How are they going to combat this? Sisk is going to take the ball. We're going to move Aragon to the corner, Greer in the way here. And that's a terrible shot by Sisk. What was he even doing there? Greer comes back. We are running so low on time. Browning comes down. He has a chance to do the slide tackle, and he gets it! I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe... I can't believe that... And Haynes isn't even in position to get us anything. We're... We don't have the actions left. We simply don't have the actions left. And we have run out of time and Honolulu has... Gotten us to a draw. No! This was our best opportunity and we just couldn't do it we couldn't do it on offense or defense this is a huge failure as a team to take advantage when we really should have won i i can't believe it i can't believe they managed to do this Thankfully, Memphis lost as well, so we are still in promotion position, but now we are three points behind Sacramento and Oklahoma City, and we are not in position to beat them on goal differential. Hemphill is thankfully okay, but we have four games left. Four games. Sacramento... Sacramento's going to take on Albuquerque. Oklahoma City's taking on Memphis. Uh, Oklahoma City takes on San Jose, Sacramento takes on Memphis, Sacramento takes on San Jose, Oklahoma City takes on Madison, and finally, Madison take Sacramento takes on Madison, and Oklahoma City takes on Hartford. I still think we can definitely get the promotion, but to get anywhere beyond third... And this is going to take some luck, and we still have one more match without Novak. We, we really felt his absence today. In both of, both of the game, all three of the games, we felt the absence of one of our stronger defenders. And we got unlucky on there. I know we got two wins and a draw out of this, but it still feels a bit like a disappointment given the expectations going in for this. Also, are we getting closer? Oh, we are nowhere close to a stadium size upgrade. Nope, not even close. Uh, but we do have enough glory to 
sign another coach, but we might want to hold on to that because there are going to be some contracts that we might want to take a look at in the future. But if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, comment below your thoughts, and subscribe to keep following Manchester's journey. I hope to see you all in the next episode as we take on Newark and Jacksonville, and then it'll be the final episode determining whether we get up to the first league. Join me for that, and I hope you have a great day, and happy gaming.